error. Jees, koko miehet sitten. Konaria kantoo. Koton koo, koo, koo. Kretti. Noniin, ja mitä se oli? Haarisen paras vielä punoa. Joo. Ota Haaris sit YK tässä meidän ryhmäkanavalla eka. Pistetään sit tonne. Kotekkaan. Joo, pieni hetki. Tätä tarvitsee sen. Uudi. Jes. Kantoon. Se on tuu säkki. Tuo vesti. Reveli Haaris, YK. Ilta ei tuonne joukkoverkkoon, kun ollaan asemissa ajetaan keskelle tähän ajamiseen. Tosta pitää mennä oikealle äsken. Ei ollut oikein. Ehkä. En mä tiiä. Vuotta pitää. Kyllä se taitaa olla. Täydellinen paikka. No, käytään näinkin. <laughs> Jees Haaris, ota partios lähes sinne tassi kolmosella. Me on nyt tässä ykkösen pohjoispuolella. Ilmoit, että se joukkuu verkkoon, kun valmis. Tästäkö tätä lohtina oli nyt? Haaris, saatko? Sille kävi jotain, se hävisi. Peli kaatuu. Oh, 
Ah, ei ole vielä tuossa ainakin. Okei. Okay. Ei kaatunut niin aastus, jos tulee pakki. Okei, okay. ää... No, Woody ja Vauri, me ollaan nyt tässä... Me ollaan tässä niin taas ykkösestä, niin... Noin 120 metriä tohon North Eastiin tossa seuraavan kompaanassa. Elikkä ne talot on niin tossa suunnassa. Niin me ollaan matkalla. Selvä. Mä odottelen tässä minuutin, jos toi haadis nyt tulis takaisin, jos ei, niin sit mä käskytän nää miehet erikseen. Suuren suuresti ihan mitkä ei siellä... Joukkoon verkko. Radio on hyötyvä ole, mutta... Siipa onko? Tää on vähän kiusallista, että se radiomies meni. Niinpä. Ja yksi kakkonen ei ole valmis. Yes. Goodi. Alfa kolme, toinen puoliryhmä asemissa menetettiin partionjohtaja. Toivomme, että hän liittyy takaisin. No niin, Haarikko. Selvä jollei löydy niistä radiokantoa jollekin muulla. No niin, Haarikko, eli... Pieni hetki, mutta pitää saada tota... Joo. Radi. Äh, save startti loppuu. Kakkosesta vielä liian linjoilla. Vielä. Jaha, mulla ei ole save startti. Nais. Nice. No, ei mitään. Pistä vaan radio. Oota ihan, et... Joo, pieni. Jemme varo yksissä minuutissa keritään tonne hyökkeen. Jotaan... Muutama sata metriä. Kyppi yks viis. Mulla on silmät tonne rantaan asti täältä, ja ihan vitun on paljon pidemmälle. Täältä ei tuu mitään koukkuu ilman, että mä siitä saan joku silmät. Reveli Haari, seuraava. No niin hyvä, tuota yes. noin. Vie itse sinne... Yks viisi, jolla ei kuulu kakkosesta viiden Kyllä, minuutin kohtaan mitään, niin meni itse lyhyen. Se ois varaa no, kakkosnappulalla. Ai niin on nyt. Jees, äijät. Aa, mikäs ryhmä te ootte? Alfa ykkönen. Aa. Hetkinen. Ootte, te ootte nyt täällä Alfa niin, kolmosen alueella. Juu, toi on meidän kompandi toi. Ees Väyrin, ootteko täällä? Joo, mä menin sekasin tossa Alfa 1, eiks nyt tänne väärään paikkaan? Ei se mitään, me ollaan oikeas paikassa. Haadis löys itsensä takasin, ne on nyt kävelemässä tuolla. Ja me ollaan tulossa loistavaa. Tää on aika kaukana tuo tuli ja sama kakkonen, että tuli ja sama tuli ja sama tuli ja sama kakkonen. On, mutta... Käsky on pistää niin, sinne niin. puolet ryhmästä ja emme sitä konekiväli sinne uhraa, niin mitä teet? Niin, niin ei, että me ei nyt oikein tänne radioille, mutta Juu. ei mitään. oikein sillä niin yhtenä sitä taistelua ei saa sitä järkevästi, että voidaan me tukea, jos sinä vihollista sitten lähetä, mutta ei muuten oikein ei. voi niin auttaa. Että... Joo. Tuolla näettekin itse asiassa, itse asiassa voisin, voisin kierrättää näitä kiikareitä sieltä, niin näette ton. Tää mulla on ihan, ihan hyvä näkyvystystä. Okei. Okay. Joo, eli siellä suoraan Suun. etelässä siinä tää. Alibarin kylä. Nöp. Zulu kakkosella. Siellä on yksi mies vissiin väijyssä. Sinne Zulu yks ja Zulu kolme alueelle on sit se alfa. Ryhme. Damage. Ei var... niin. Varjaan tähän nuo varmaan ottaa haltuun tuolla sautes. Luulis ainakin. Vaihtoehto on tuli, mä asun tosissaan sit tässä... Kakkonen! Tosi olet pitkässä. Niin, vähän... Ampo on ollut täällä koko ajan ja kuitannut itteni sisään aikaisemmin. Mä veikkaan, että se on 
alaa kerta antaa. Niin, nyt on eka kerta kun kuuluu. Mikä sulla on tilanne? Turvallisempi. On se turvallisempi. Mutta... Teellä partio on pistetty sinne Suluysistä South Eastiin, täystymään South East ja muu porukka. KK on kanssa sulu kasilla tähdystään West Southiin. Toimii, että ei ole muudessa reikkiä tuonne Southiin päin. Siitä nurkilta vois ampua sitten. Hyvä. Perältä. Mulla on hirveästi. Mä yritin lähettää Eliakselle, mut se ei ilmeisesti kuule mun puheita, koska katvetta jotain liian kaukana. Mut meillä on myös mahdollisuus, että mehän voidaan joka on sen y- joku partioon. Joo, ja me kuulemme Eliaksen kanssa toisemme nyt niin, pitkässä. Mä kuulen myös Eliaksen, no. mutta se ei Voidaan ilmeisesti kuule mua. Voidaan sieltä kans, tulee aloittaa no. Blahi, puhutko se jollekin toiselle pitkässä? Kyllä, kyllä puhun. Ruoste ei kuule sinua, Eliaksen mutta... Se joo, se mä en kuule ruostakaan. Mä kuulen Eliaksen no problem, mut se ei kuule mua. Pidetään verkko tyhjänä ja sitten korvat hörölle silmät hörölle sen verran, mitä yksityistä asemista näette ja katsotaan mitä vihollinen tekee. Joo, mun pointti siis lähinnä, että jos mä näen jotain, joka koskettavaa on ilmaisuutta, niin jonkun muun pitää välittää. Minä olen tyylissä. Haaris Reveli, mikä tilanne? Alfa ykkösen toinen partio. Tässä vähän katsotaan näitä rakennuksia, että mistä tuota... Joo. ...näkee mihin. Tiedän, että se on niin kuin random generaattori. Kyllä mä haluan nyt teille vähän mahdollisia ehdottaa on se, että tällä mennään. Kaikki ryhmät on siis valmiita, mikäli joillekin oli sen pääosiensa kanssa valmiita. Kymppi ykkönen valmiita. Tuota, äkiksestä näyttäis siltä, että irtautumisreitit niin suoraan reitti teille päin on aika... Avointa. Varsinkin jos vihu tulee tuolta Nordwestin suunnasta. Korjaan kolme. Ei voi käyttää sitä suoraan reittiä. Vaan me oikeastaan pitää kiertää tuolta niin kuin sulu kasia kohti. Ja sitten ne siitä pohjoiseen, mikä on tuo pieni viholliskelua. Niin, Juu, kuulostaa tuota... hyvältä. Älkää tosissaan sijääkö sinne katoilla sitten. Tässä ei saada loputtua. Enkä siis sillä vaan. Kolmonen yksi viisi. Joo, totta kai. Mä vaan ite pöpönin tossa. Jees. Lähetä kolmasella. Kuuletko kympin puheen? Kuulen. Onko se partiojohtaja takaisin? On puoli partio ed- määrätyssä asemassa. Alfa kolme valmis. Hyvä. Selvä. Yhdeksän lipasta tungettu taskuihin ainakin ammuksiin. Joo. Autossa tässä vielä ollaan muutama lipas. Kaikki 
tässä täsmälleen tuossa isossa rakennuksessa, mikä on taas kaksi merkiä alla, koska muista rakennuksista ei oikein näe joka puolella riittävän hyvin. Mutta meillä, ei, meillä on hyvää näkyvyys tuota etelään päin, tuonne Apadin kylään päin, ja oikeastaan mm, Southwestiin päin myöskin. Mutta me ei nähdä tuonne Northwestiin sitten tässä mökistä oikein mitenkään järkevästi. Niin näettekö te sieltä teidän mökistä tähystään? Niin teidän mökistä oikeastaan suoraan vesti. Kohtalaisesti, mutta meillä on joukkueen 15 näkee koko sen rantalinan, eli ei pitäisi tulla yllätyksiä sieltä suunnalta. Okei, okay, no niin, tää on Yksi viisi saa myös ton. Ja tosiaan okay. lähtökohtaisesti meidän irtautumisreitti tulee olemaan justin tota, aika pitkälle sulukasi ja kohti sieltä sitten on pikkuvioletille alueelle. Ja sieltä kautta, te ei, tulo, ei ole tulossa Alkaan suoraan reittiä. Joo, tota... kuulostaa hyvältä. Säytätte oman henkenne. Alfa 2, Alfa 1, 5. Ja tota, kuulut hyvin. Tää on tosiaan siellä joukkojen kanavalla. Piti kun vielä jotenkin ilmoittautua sinne. Ei tarvi, mä oon ilmoittanut meijät. Nais. Nice. Huudat sit sinne, jos alkaa tulla vihollisia jostain alattomattomasta suunnasta. Kyllä. Yksi viisi. Ykkönen. Haittaaks teitä tästä kerran vai pistänkö mieluummin pois? Ja varmistan vielä, että niin taistelualoitukseen liittyen niin yksi viisi tai kymppi ohjaa ryhmiä tulen käytön ja avauksen, niin meillä ei tarvi olla minkäänlaista tähystystä. Tämä on ainutta ja parasta viisiä, mitä meillä voi olla. Ykkönen. Kaari, sitä saattaa pärjää. Pystyykö puumeni sen minulle toistamaan, kun en kuule ruostetta? Ei se mitään. Ei ole tässä nyt kuulemassa. Eli ei tarvitse olla ryhmillä minkäänlaista tähystystä, että voisi lukia se sinun etelän tähystys. Että muuten, muuten kyppi ja 15 ohjaa kyllä mitä tehdään. Kappale kuitti. Missä vesi piippuu? Kla. Sitten sellainen päivitys. Tonne Apadin kylään. Mä en näe sisään. Se on täysin katveessa ton Alfa ykkösen aseman takana muusta nähden. 
mutta mä näen, että jos sinne kylään on tulos joku jostain suunnasta, mutta sinne kylään sisään mulla ei ole mitään silmiä. Joo, mä näen, mä näen myöskin sen, että jos Aparin kylään menee joku, mutta tosiaan en nyt kyllä pysty myöskään antaa ihan täydellistä tilannekuvaa sille ykkösen kärkipartiolle, että milloin vihollinen on at the gate. Mä näen sen South by Southwestiin siitä niiden compoundista olevan rakennuksen. Eli sanoisin, että Zulu 2 Hytingin mä näen. Joo. Mä en näe sieltä Zulu 3 Southwestin puolelle. Täytyy siinä soveltaa tarvittaessa. Mikä vittu tätä save startia nyt viiva? Mitä vittua täällä tapahtuu? Save startti vaan kasvaa. Jos ne totee vaan, että kopterit ei nyt vaan toimi ja korvataan kuorma-autoa. Kymppi, yks kakko. Miks täällä on laukas? Jem, en. Laukaselta kuulosti. Miks lykkö vai mikä? Yks viis, yks kakko. Yks viis. Joo, ei haluta, että ykkönen aloittaa toiminnan, jos nähdään, että vihollinen on tullut suluun kakkosella, jos täällä ei sinne oo silmiä. Mulla on Lottaa silmät siihen Zulu 2, mä voin kertoa, kun se jatuu emintaan, mutta te voitte pitää matalaa profiiliä siihen asti, kun mä kerron. Yksi, kaksi on. Kyllä kympi jatkaa vielä tässä, että me kyllä nähdään, jos sinne niin kuin tien länsipuolelle ilmestyy tavaraa, mutta kun mulla oli aikeessa enemmänkin, että mä pystyisin kertoa, kun ne on siinä ihan teidän porteilla siinä Zulu 3. Niin se on nyt katveessa sittenkin. Alfa 315. Kolme. Mitkä on sun läntisimmät asemat? Läntisin asema on karttaruutu 020033. Sulla on siellä miehiä sisällä. Kolme miehen partio. Ja radioyhteyden päässä. Kyllä. Okei, no he pystyy tarvittaessa tähystää varmaan ton Zulu kolmosen rakennukset, että sitten kun sinne alkaa tulee, niin sit mä hävitän myöskin silmillä. Alfa 2 partion asemaa Zulu 5 North East rakennuksessa. He on, jotka tähystää sinne South, West, äh, South Eastin. Selkeä Elias. Joo, ja tiedoksi sille Eliaksellekin, että jos haluu, niin voi pitää nekin piilos, mä pystyn näkee tosiaan sen koko eteläisen harjun. No niin, hyvät herrat, peli on käynnissä ja ruvetaan katsomaan mitä tapahtuu.
tuollaiset idän kautta tai jotain. Reveli Harris. Lähetä. Ja tässä vaan kyselle, että ootteko te sinä millä lailla asemoitunut sen kompandi, missä rakennuksessa te ootte? Southwest Corneri. Southwest. Onko teillä näkyvyyttä? Katoppa suoraan tuota, south, äh, niin, Southwestiin siitä. Näks muuta? Okay, Katteli kiekarilla sinne. Yks vihollisen kopteri ammuttu tonttiin. Haaristoista pieni. Se on paska, kun räjähti. Niin, ihan vaan, että onko meillä visuaalia toisimma. Mä katteen täällä. Alla on hyvä. Nyt sinne teille päin kiekarilla. Joo, on visuaali. Hyvä. Tähän lähti hyvin. Joo, vähän harmi, että tuli kontti. Näkki. Tontti. Ai mitä kopteri tontti? Ja Toista vielä sen verran korostaa, että meillä ei tosiaan suoraan no, meidän no, vestiin no, ole tässä mitään visuaalia. Rittivät vissiin maahan laskuun tuonne pohjoiseen. Mutta North Westiin ei ole hyvää visuaalia. Me ollaan teidän varassa sitten. Siinä ne sai. Aa, ah, ykkösellä maahanlasku. Aika riskiliike, mutta... Niin, en mä tiedä. Ihan tuolla reunassa. Mä palaan palahin alkuperäiseen tähystykseen. Onko muuten joukko ennenpäin hiljasta vai onko mulla on runnut radiopukittu? Ei ole pitkä aika kuulunut mitään. Hyvin äänäkästä on. Okei, okay, mulla olisi radio tehnyt jotain. Eihän siellä sitten, jos yksi tuli tottiin laskeutuessa, niin siellä maksimissaan ryhmä maassa. Sinne Volakin kylään ammutti yksi hindi alas. Näin mäkin sen näkisin. Kakkonen kyselee, oliko siis toinen hekoista tuonut ryhmällisen JVtä mukana vai? Joo, siis se missä oli, se mikä on tontissa, niin siinä meni ryhmällinen JV samassa. Kakkonen kuittaa. Kyllä ketuttaa saada siinä por porukassa. Pidetään mielessä, että siellä on kahdeksan ryhmää jalkaväkeä jäljellä ja yksi kopteri. Niin, käy joskus. Ei mitään kunniaa AR-ryhmälle kuka olikaan. Joo, eli Reveli, mulle ei tuo joukkoja ilmeisesti kuulu vaan tänne. Kaskoreista bravo on, että se on aivan aivan kolme ehkä otti. Kuit, no mä mm. sitten välittelen viestejä. Joo, anna semmonen karkea tilanne katsaus, mitä on tietoa tullut. Vihollinen yritti maahan laskua golf-alueella yhdellä kopterilla. Kopteri on Kopteria tulossa ryhmäis. ainakin tänne meidän länteen nyt. Selvä, tää on väli. Lännessä ääni avainto hekosta. Kakkonen havaitsee... Ihonen ei, helikopteri on ollut Westin. Joo, me nähdään kyllä se kopteri kaikki. Pidetään. Teidän ei tarvitse sitä nähdä. Maasella visuaali. South West. Kuosteen Onko kopteri? Kuuttaa päälle. Joo, kopteri. Eli kopteri meidän South West. Öö... Tauko. Kuitti on havaittu. Mikäs se oikein oli? Oliko blowpipe? Eli kopteri Oipa, meni North Westin lähellä, suuntaan matalalla Is. Laakson pohjalla. Jees, North West matalaa, maasta pohja. Joo. Kiive tähystys taas. Tähystän. Toiseen kopteriin osuttu. Ei helskatti. Kopteri tuhottu. Eli oliko toinen kopteri tuhottu? Mitä? Toinen kopteri tuhottu. Alla Akbar. Paljon Altef 4. Aika jäätävä Alla Akbar. Kakkonen, kakkonen kuulee taas teidät. Lahi, mä otan kolmosen itselleni. Ei siirretä vielä, ei siirretä vielä. Kolmonen, pidä.
pidä silmiä pohjoiseen sillä sun loppuporukalla. Kolmannen silmät pohjoiseen sain. Jees, ilmavaara on vähän laantunut. Teet mukaan, lähdetään lähestää pohjoiseen. Jees, otetaan tähän yksi mies. Ää, tähän yksi mies, otetaan tähän. Sitten niin. Uudia tää. Jees. Ei tästä nää. Mee tota niin. Tee mies, katso pääs tohon vaikka tohon portaisiin, jos siitä ikkunasta näkis pohjaseen. Ollaan Joo, nyt huutakantamalla niin, ettei hajanota yhtä enempää. Joo. Ja se vuodin me ollaan tossa saotisrakennuksessa, missä oltiin äsken, ei tässä muualta näe, niin saat tässä. Pitäis olla huuta, huutakantama, niin Kir, kiljus näkyy jotain. Jees. Istula mäellä on savua. Heitettyy vai se palava kopteri? No heitettyä nyt sulle. Vihollisen joukkue on hahmat kolamista tulossa apadiin. Mikä kolmas on? Vahvistaan. Tulee sitä tietä Jää, pitkin, idässä suoraan. Ismalleen siihen Zulu kolme rakennukseen Joo, ennen pitkää, mistä puhuttiin. Kaikki väriasema. Jees, vuori tänne kohta alkaa tapahtua. Laitan tuohon ove ikkunan ton koko. Tule tähän ulos puolta. Puolta päkiä vaan siihen. Haari se reemeli. Minkä... Sinne apariin on tulossa kohta vihollista. Sieltä. Etelän suunnalta. Eli käy menkö eteen. Mennään tähän ikkunaan. Sulla on kolme partia valmiina vastaanottamaan vihollis. Ja se vihollinen otti nyt sinkoa jostain, en tiedä yhtään kuka niitä tonne on. Tuli IP-partiaa putita ohjuksella. Kreveli tähän ystä. Hei, noista tuhotuista taamutuista vihollisista. Iistiin lisää jalkaväkeä siellä no, saa, saa, jää, Isot kivet. Näkyy joo. Ei ammuta vielä. Sitten sillä hän. No, se on, toi on ihan tosi kaukana. Jos mietit sinne... Sul kakkosen on se 900 metriä. Niin tohon voidaan lisätä semmonen 800 lisää. Haaris Reveli. Haari. Se nyt menee ilmaton tätä partia ampumista vihaisen jalkaväkeen. Se on sieltä sulu kakkosesta etelään siellä rinteen päällä ehkä noin 800 metriä. Selvä. Me ootellaan tossa. Jes. Käy nopea kattoo, oliks sulla pohjoisessa mitään? Muudio kattoo sitä pohjoisessa. Okei, okay, jes. Hyvä. Hyvä työtä. Rinteen päällä. Ei Varmaan näet noin savupilot noista ohjuksista. Joo. Joo. Okei, okay, alfa ryhmät tiedoks. Tuolla vihollista myös meistä länteen tulossa tuohon Davlatsa-markkerille noin viiden minuutin päästä. Ryhmä puus. Haaris Reveli. Dalvatsalon kylä, teistä South Westiin, vihreä lähestyy sitä. Allahille uureja tonne meidän etelään. Dalvatsalon kylä. Kyllä, vihreä on liikkumassa sinne jalan. No, siellä on noin viiden minuutin päästä. Kuitti tälle, me tähystetään sinne päin. Kuos map tuulit voisi laskea tarkan kantaman tonne. Se 
tonni 500, mihin noin antaa. Joukkuun tiedoksi, että meidän IT-partio onnistu tappaa puoliryhmää sinne <laughs> tota, tota, Harjulle etelään Sulu kakkosesta. Ja vihollinen tällä hetkellä aika hitaasti nyt liikkuu eteenpäin, ne on aika shokissa. Eikö trollaamisen puolelle tai ammutaan niin IT-ohjuksilla, kun kopterit tuhoutu? Niin on vähän. Ei oo vuodin varmaan mitään täältä tapahtuu. Ei mitään liikettä missä. Joo. Kymppi ykkönen. Ykkösen etupartio. Oli nyt kuitenkin Afila tyypillisen tapaan kurkannu ja vihollinen on ilmeisesti havainnut heidät. Avataanko tuli sieltä vastaan? Reveli Haaris. Lähetä. Oliko tästä äskeistä vihollista tietoa, että mistä suunnasta ne lähestyy sitä kyllä? No mikäs siellä nyt on ryketilanne siellä Se on west, mutta pysykää vielä piilossa. Parempi, että ne ei tiedetty, että siellä. Ampuvat muutaman kymmenen laakasta tuohon ikkunnaan, me ollaan kyllä... piilossa, vihon ää tuli tuohon tuohon ystetty sinne, sillä ei, ei mitään liikettä on Koko partio on ähjänä ollaan piilossa Joo, pidetään toistaiseksi asemat Joo, Alpha 1 on vissiin havaittu tuolla Abadin kylässä, niin on ottanut vähän tuulta, mutta odotellaan, että vihollinen tekee jotain Ei vastata tullaan Kyllä Taistelutahto ehkä hän laskenut noista kopterin menetyksistä niin, varmasti on vähän motivaation puutetta. Neuvosta liitan pojilla kohta. Ruosten näetkö liikettä siellä Davlatsahissa? En näe just nyt liikettä siellä tähystä, niin just parhaillaan sitä. Mun mielestä... Ah, nyt, sinne, nyt siellä tulee se jalkamäki justi jos sen eteläpuolella. Reveli. Lähet. Hei, tuo Northwestissä on joku kompaundi, siellä näkyy ainakin yksittäisen ihmisen liikettä. Kuitti. 15-3. Lähetä kolmonen. Meillä on näköhavainto meidän asemasta Northwestiin rinteen harjulla. Taisteli, oletko sinä? Maanteest Northeastiin. Tää on korkean kukkulan päällä. Kuitti. No meillä on Northwestissä yksittäinen taistelija harjoitella. Nää, niin siellä on enemmän väkeä. Ne on vihollista, ne irtoo. Siellä on mahdollisesti sen kopterin jäämä, että älkää vaan tehkä mitään niille. Eihän se ole nyt se meidän AA1, joka siellä irtautuu. Ei oo. Otan yhtenä sen. Kakkonen ilmoittaa, meidän eteläpartio on havainnut etelässä. Vihollista on useampiikin, ei ole tulta. Selvä. Se Northwesti ekaa kompaanti. Näkyy näistä ikkunoista. Yes. Onko se tuo kompani tuolla Northwestin, mikä näkyy tästä? Pakko olla, ei sehän muutakaan oo. Ei vesillä. Se on niin tuo 7-7 korkeusmerkki. Joo, siellä, siellähän nyt kiikaroi hyvän aikaa. Haaris Reveli, meillä on Joo, meidän Northwestissä varmaan helikopterin hippeet, joita on taistelijoita tuolla pinteen päällä. Eli meistä on Westi ehkä joku kolme. Se on niin niistä suoraan pohjoisen. Ykkönen polista kyllä. Ykkönen kyppi. Ykkönen. Vihollista Zulu 1, Southwest 300 tulee sitä lihaa pitkin. Yksi ryhmä kärjissä. Töistä suoraan pohjoiseen ehkä kilometriin. Näetkö mitenkä pitkälle? Selvästi kun ilmoitin kuin aikaisemmin. 7-8 korkeus käydä. Pystyn ilmoittamaan, kun ne on Sulu 1 Southwest 100. Haaris Reveli, Sulu 1 Southwest 100 metriä vihollista. Sulu 1 Southwest 100. Pystytkö ilmoittamaan samalla kun kerrot Sulu 1 Southwest 100 tasan, niin etenemisnopeuden? Selkis. Pystytään vielä piilossa, odotetaan tulena vasta käskyä. Saudissa on, se on tuo varmaan on se merikkäin talo. Varmaan toi Zulu ykköstä pohjoiselva yksittäin takaa. Joo. Kato säkin kiikareilla, niin tiedät mihin antuu. 
Ja Reveli Haaris, oliko tietoa, että tuolla Abadissa, niin missä alueella sillä on niitä omia? Se oli liikettä. Sebrän kaukana siellä. Sebrän kaukana siellä. Sebrän kaukana siellä. Ei jos siellä etelässä pitää tulla uppisen saattaa olla joku yksittäinen ovikello. Mä ei tule, että sulla on yksi autovestin tullut lähestää solaa pitkin. Tuolla kiviillä. Sulla on yksi autovestin ja tulee sitä kivijonoa pitkin sinne. Rinkään taakse tuohon. Toista kolmaselle. Sano kiikarit. En sanonut kolmaselle mitään, vaan sanoin, että vihollisen kolmas ryhmä tosta etenevästä joukkueesta vaikuttaa tuo vähän irti. Kakkonen ilmoittaa, että Ahmad Kolami North Eastin siellä kivissä on porukkaa vieläkin, että tähän ylää. Ne on tulituessa tolle elementille, Tästä joka siirtyy nyt kohti sitä apaa. Tässä läpäkään kysyy vuodelta on Joo. Vuodi, onks uusi havaintoja? Öö, on pysytellyt tässä vähän piilossa, mutta mä en just oo lurkkaamassa sinne. Joo, jes. Sinne sulualueelle alkaa nyt tulla sitä vihollista, että... Että ollaan edelleen piilossa, odotetaan tulla ne vasta käskyyn. Siihen sulu ykköselle tulee se kivimuuri, Ei tai kuola sola sieltä tähän. South Westistä, niin ensimmäiset miehet on nyt niitten kivien sautti päässä. No niin kahden miehen partio tulee sisään niihin teidän rakennuksiin. Meillä on hiljaa. Kolmonen kontaktissa. Mikä tilalla? Meidän päälle hyökätä. Mikä suunta? Me on tässä meidän päällä. Ja ykkönen, niin kaksi minuuttia laskisin tosta, niin me aletaan tähyilemään, että sulu yksi normi ja valitaa vihollisen varalta. Älkää. Kyllä, ne on hidastanut niiden etenemistä ja ne lähetti jostain syystä yhden ryhmän takaisin sieltä sodasta. Sain, eli siellä on nyt kaksi ryhmää menossa, että ykköselle ja kaksi minuuttia kun on kulunut, niin me ruvetaan tää hyvilemään ja... Tuliasemassa yksittäisiä taistelijoita. Kaksi miestä tuli sinne valkoisessa savussa. Pitääkö kolme etuvarisenta vai taako irtää nyt pohjoisen? Ajoneuvo kuuluu alfa yksi ykkösen asemissa. Mikä helvetti tää on? Näkee kymppi tai yksi vitonen. Yksi viis näki tuli teidän takaa oma ajoneuvo ja tekee näin ajoneuvo oli. Yeah. Oh shit! That's our cord now. What about wood? Bro, if they positioned that in the door, yeah, that would be such a chat. Wood's still, still like wondering what the hell is going on. I think Joel took fire from uh, <laughs> from Alpha 1. Alpha 1 took, took shots at Joel. I think second Joel, no, wait. The thing is, Joel I... has no idea wood is in there. He uh, might think uh, this is compound is clear now. Uh-oh, wood's crossing. Oh. 
Oh god. With crossing. Joel, Joel, no, please. No, Joel, no, 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 no. Joel! Oh my god! Oh. 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 <laughs> Can we get Joel a fucking posthumous Medal of Honor? Yeah, that was like fucking <laughs> Two kills. That was intense. He's not dead. What the fuck? The fuck was the doing he's there? Dead. He's he's not gonna back get back. He's up not gonna get back away. up. And he's not the dead. He didn't get. It. They thought he executed him and didn't. And he got he's up, supposed to fly the fucking plane. plane. Supposed to fly a plane, still get, still kills two people. Yeah, Charlie one just got fucking annihilated. Yeah. Charlie three and a half, and Charlie two was still, still up. Yeah, Charlie it's Platoon weird. rode right into a um, an AA ambush, and we all got wiped the fuck out. And then when our helicopter was down, while Charlie one was in full strength, we were up against an entire platoon of insurgents. So yeah. We were only eight guys against. Oh my god! Look at that angle Trask is shooting through. Who? Oh. Trosco. Trosco was shooting through an inch-wide crack between the building and the wall there. That's Where's Trosco? That's. Ooh. In the building that they were shooting out of next to. <laughs> what building? That's, Where? Who? That's what? Dirty. Trosco Haka. The. What? Username. What side? What? What team? You see that? You see that? Like that? That big Look for tan X, concrete X12 wall. X twelve on the map. X twelve on the map. X12. Oh god, he hit people too. Holy shit. Oh, there he is. That's oh. dirty. That's that dirty. Is... That's fucking dirty. Well. We're dead. Well fought, you all. Yeah. Uh, we didn't even we... fight. But oh, we didn't. by the way, by the way, press P and you can see all the projectiles fly. Yeah. All right. Well, like the ice oh. like racers, we were we were just yeah. trying to get yeah. back towards the lines and said, "Well, no, put up a better fight be... than you." Lee Lop, you got to be out. That's why. Well, I have the tactical sense to retreat. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you can't the, retreat the when you're pilots. dead, Lee Lop. The two well, no, pilots yeah, tried like to house. retreat uh, and I said, well, "Well, let's take Katal." And uh, just use the recon. <laughs> so we just walk up there, and when we get to rocks, we hear a lot of finish inside, and we're like, eh? <laughs> Well, we briefly owned that cord. Yeah, and I was trying to get grenades, uh, so I got two grenades from the guy, and I was like, can I go out this door? And I was like, nope, can't go out here. And as, as soon as I turned around, I saw one guy just sitting there, and I was like, oh, fuck. So yeah, they, they, they didn't know where you were until they entered that room. Yeah. I had semi on, so if I had a full auto, I would have murdered him, gone out, threw grenades at the cord, and hopefully disabled it. Yeah. Well, but I would yeah. prefer if well, you, you couldn't if know, you kept helicopter uh, alive, actually, as to do some AA work. But, uh, yeah, oh well. that would have yeah. been uh, the better thing to do with both helicopters, but uh, we were shot down by one blowpipe each. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the, they thing must is, the squad, the squad you dropped must... off died really quickly. Yeah, they must have we... practiced for like hours with the fucking blowpipe. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, we had uh, Alejandro testing it for us, and he said, "Yeah, it's uh, totally work worthless. You can't shoot it at anything." Yeah, we, 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 yeah, we couldn't use it. So now we know so... Alejandro sucks with the uh, blowpipe, <laughs> and the fins are great uh, with it. Yeah. Oh, and they it's... fucked one of the cars up. Well, fuck. Around the Z9, they they fucked one of their own cars up. So they have just one typical left. But oh, where the fuck car. were the A18 when they could shoot down the first helicopter and the second one? They were like uh, two clicks away. There, there was it was crazy shots. What? No idea how they did it. That's <laughs> okay, someone up so... with Charlie 10 and Charlie and Charlie. Uh, what is it? Charlie 3 is fucking sliding. Uh, Nem is sliding on the ground from my end. Yeah, well, uh, this 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 round was a complete shit show, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take my leave and wait for the. Uh... Actually, I don't think I'm gonna be for the official AAR for mission two because nothing happened. Um, I think yeah, I think this died died the one. end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we landed. No, we sat around for half an hour while the helicopter was being fixed. We were sliding. Uh, we landed <laughs> on our objective, and then we got ambushed by a platoon of guys, and we all died. The okay, end. Uh, one in four guy here. What happened with the save start? Uh, the um, safe start uh, got uh, extended uh, yeah, indefinitely like... because the helicopter uh, bugged out, the gunner couldn't get in, and then one person managed to well, get in the gunner site. Also, got bugged, uh, 
and saw things from a third yeah. person's yeah. perspective. Not, not yeah, that person from they someone had, else's eyes. They, they could like straight up see through somebody else's perspective. Yeah, I it could, was, I like, could see really through, really through your weird. eyes, Lanky. I know, that's really fucking and funny. Then, that's what uh, and the second the, person view is. And then the yes. actual co-pilot managed to get in, also got bugged out, and saw through my eyes. And then we got the new helicopter, which promptly bugged out. And then we got a second new helicopter, which was the wrong weapons on. And they said, yeah, use it instead. Uh, when we got up in the air, the helicopter was bugged, so the gun was bugged. <laughs> it was probably set to, like, pilot control, maybe, I don't know. No, we couldn't disable it from the pilot either. Oh. We were Wait, isn't it with around. Our... Isn't it with RTSF like zoom in to switch to a different optic and then you get Yeah, uh... but it didn't work to unsafe the weapon. Hmm. So hmm. it was one blowpipe team that took us out. AA1. Yeah. Those are some good shots too. Yeah? Yeah. I wanna see their perspective on it. Well, I mean I assume yeah, they practice, that's what I would have done. Yeah. That's... They... oh god. Wait, so Krogai was in the second helicopter, wasn't he? Or where is he? Yeah, yeah. he was in the second one. That got blown up. <laughs> I just know... Uh, oh god. That blowpipe model is really bad. Do do it again. Like, it doesn't even have a hole at the front of it. A half a tomb sniper of blowpipes, like. What? Yeah. Got a blowpipe on the Yeah. Men de sitter på andra sidan kartan. Ja, jag vet inte vad annars det kan ha varit. Annars var det en RPG som sköts as bra, men jag tror att det var blowpipes. Shots the blowpipe blow team. Man. The blowpipe team is sitting there with binoculars on the other side of the map. So they can't have been them. I'm not sure what it was then because it was really accurate. They were they were driving around real fast like they relocated several times over several kilometers. Yeah. So they, how, they how did you like... guys get shot down? Was it just that they were there right there? Yeah, they were well, right there. Uh, yeah, like, they were uh, expecting us. Like, that was uh, the worst case of wrong place, wrong but, time. But were exactly. they actually on the other side of the ridge? Uh, or rather, the no, northern no, side of the ridge? They were... Uh, if you look, they were at, uh, like, Hotel Yemen. Okay. What pisses me off is that uh, our Charlie LZ got changed last minute, and the original one we were supposed to have, based on Charlie Platoon Lead's uh, plans, that could have avoided that whole situation. Yeah, it would have been better. Uh, so, we were, been safer, we were behind but... terrain. The I'm first shot they were that at killed Hotel us. Yemen because Hotel Yemen is a really weird spot to put yeah. them because you can only it's only good for when if we do exactly exactly what we did. Otherwise, yeah, it's a they, bad they spot. they figured out we did exactly that, yeah. so they shot it down. Uh, but, but they, they shot they basically... down the second one and not the first one. Yeah. So what happened it... was that there was a blowpipe team situated around like uh i'd say like op 153 just watching no it was more like hotel yemen okay hotel it, yemen? it was it was hotel close to, it was close to uh yeah, we'll to, to n11 check the AR. it was close to n11 in the original line hotel yemen because we approached it and then we got engaged by them we returned fire smoked out most of the squad went down Lelop and i went around to try and get back to the packs at the hotel yemen and then a shitload of enemy infantry and i think a technical i'm not sure Something like a horde lit us up from Hotel Jordan direction. Yeah, no, that well, was amazing. Anyway, this is this blowpipe thing is just OP, and you know, catch me behind the big rock. Did you even get also, any missile warning when it launched? Scripts. Scripts. Oh, no, no, Hotel no, Jordan. No, okay, so the blowpipe is not. You don't lock it. You just aim it. So, okay, yeah, it's, so it yeah, only really no works warning. if you're stationary, uh, basically, respective to the blowpipes. But I guess. Well, if, they, if they not. were able to target the uh, the uh, oh shit you were, you were landing, then of course they can hit you still. Captain yeah, got shot down. The uh, the oh. second shot, we were just flying around and then it started a turn uh, outside of uh, Hill 78 and the uh, yeah. like over the uh, sea. We we're doing a pretty wide turn just not to make sure we were being fired, uh, yeah. like being stationary. They still managed to pick us up. I guess so maybe they just got, yeah they got lucky. I guess. Sitting there hours because of just... Those shots are really hard to hit uh, when yeah. we tried it before. Oh. I think they hours just of just practicing with the blowpipes. That's amazing. Well, this sucks. I'm a... yeah. yeah, this is... I'm not... Uh, like, I appreciate that it's fun to try like different types of missions, but this is already over and uh, gonna be real tedious, unfortunately. Yeah, because, yeah. Uh, because yeah. we died. I'd love to play. Uh, also, let's not uh, let's not forget how fucking infuriating it must be for uh, waiting around half an hour for admins to fix something, only to yeah. get shot down when yeah. you didn't even touch the ground yet. 
Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's not. That would explain that's, why that's, Kroger is here. That's not the fault here. of the mission design because that's that's not something you can foresee. But yeah, still, it sucks. Uh, no, I, don't, they... I just no. I think that Kroger guy just doesn't want to fucking sit around for like an hour watching, basically the entirety of Op Four getting slaughtered. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Joel, Wait, nice meeting you. Too. Yes, same, yes. Same things went uh, went the way they did, but it's, uh, so, we could find with you for oh, like yes. the five minutes. That's the way okay. things are. Unless yeah. they I'm can assuming give me money that there was a blowpipe sniped time. us, because uh, I find it hard to believe that an RPG will be that accurate, but maybe they had um, it perfectly for, zeroed as in. As far as I know, in Splatoon Net, it was AA missiles that got both choppers. No, I mean, not not the choppers. I mean, Bravo Platoon got like, cut in half, and I got, I got killed by... What I think was blowpipes. Yes, we were using the AI to shoot infantry. All right. Yeah. Okay. Because why not? Right. Yeah. Well. All right. Yeah, I was like the last person alive besides Lullup and Neo, and uh... no, I was the second last person alive in Charlie One, and I got killed because a core yeah. penetrated through an entire building and hit me in the final room. Yep. Well, they're not like that. Sturdy oh, walls. I, no, I know, I get that. I just thought I was safe because I was like lying extremely low to the ground and out of the way, and it still hit me. Well, you're still pretty elevated compared to the ground because of how uh, BI is using you. Yeah, and then Neo ran away and got shot. I should have well, just kept running down the What could he have done, Gordon? I don't know. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Like, he could have done. He did shoot nothing. back when he finally encountered them, and he died. Yeah. Hey, at least he had a chance to shoot back. I mean, I got a shot on a guy. Well, you're not exactly one front of me, and I like, don't you. Got bitched in the head. <laughs> I got immediately fucking bipped by Gordon. Yeah, cause yep. you ran in front of me. I didn't know you were behind I, okay, me. Okay, let's not let's not fucking bicker over this. This is stupid. No, it's just I was standing right at the rock at the edge, peeking out, and then you just run in front of me. Honestly, yeah, so what, what, in, in retrospect, what I should have done with Lowup is instead of running back to the, act, to, to the hotel, I should have just ran all the way down to the coastal cliff. And we just should have gone down to the valley, there. yeah. Yeah, and just gone and done some fucking Metal Gear Solid Five, just adventuring across the coastline until we found friendlies. If we had gone across like, the valley, we would have discovered the AA positions a lot quicker. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I found the wreckage of a... I'm guessing it was Command Helicopter, the one that went down first? Yep. Uh, that was India too. That yeah. was command, yeah. So Crow guy just instantly died. Well, the the second helicopter crew managed to, or the second helicopter crash. The first crew, India one, managed to set it down in water. So we managed to swim across and uh, yeah. actually kill one of the cores. Yeah, we Honestly, saw. We were watching and commentating the whole time. Yeah. I think players are just too responsible for this kind of mission. The moment a helicopter is spotted, heard, it's dialed in, and people know where it's going. And people know where it is. It's a bit. Op four had zero intel for their for like their landing as well. Like, had we known where Taliban started or like where people could have been, where people began, where would where could they potentially be coming from? That would have been a lot better. But instead, it was like, oh yeah, they're they're in the AO. Fucking good luck. I mean, <laughs> well, to I mean, be fair, that's kind here, of accurate. We did spread one of our platoons extremely wide to prevent any like surprise landings on our AO. So. Mm. Yeah. Personally, what I, what I would have done is I would have flown the helicopters out a little bit far if I could and had them come in from the water, but that's just me. Uh, coming in from the water was uh, suicide because uh, if they were up on the ridge shooting down towards the helicopters with the uh, blowpipe, that was an insta kill. No, no, I, I get that. I'm saying if we'd flown up far enough and, fa and maybe, uh, you know, let me yeah. reference the map, if we'd like gone in north of like Hill 108 or something, Maybe to uh, God, what am I looking at here? Is like the thing is that we, uh, we if, if you anticipated at, uh... them to be positioned to overwatch the valley from the north, and uh, not overwatch to the north from the ridge. So they were basically had a blowpipe team watching the exact spot where we uh, didn't want them to to uh, to have it. Basically, yeah, they got so lucky. If yeah. if you look at the map and you see the lines, the last line towards Charlie I said is not. The line we were flying. The line we were flying was uh, north of 189, down and then dipping behind all the rocks down to the waterline, and then coming up towards Hotel uh, Jordan to uh, put down the guys. The second helicopter came in too high and uh, was supposed to. He was supposed to look after the first one's landing. The 
problem is he was too high, so he got seen over the hill and shot oh, at. Oh, right, okay, okay. So yeah, the, that, that the first sense. helicopter yeah. came up from the uh, from underneath the ridge and landed on it, and then uh, yeah. X-filled underneath the ridge too, yeah. which was the plan. Yeah. Uh, but uh, because we had two helicopters with t two different communities and uh, no way of training before, uh, it kind of made it hard to do uh, like a pinpoint insertion which ended up being what it was yeah so, especially since the uh, the helicopter pilot got swapped out just like yesterday the other yeah. one so there was really no opportunity to to practice beforehand i mean I you did one practice community beforehand had, and you uh, managed yeah, to land so that was good i had one community had both helicopters we could have uh, done or that community could probably have done more training because of the easier way of communicating between the community and uh, setting up a time to do it. I think the issue was that it, obviously I didn't see what happened since I was absent there, but if it, if it is, as you said, that the second helicopter exposed himself above the ridge, then yeah, that's definitely... Yeah, if you go to Hotel, uh, Hotel Jordan, or if, if you look at Frog Leap, because the helicopter crash site is basically on Frog Leap, yeah. uh, he took two shots to land there, so he, he was way too high to be seen right, from right, uh, either yeah. yep. <laughs> side. What? Bless you. <laughs> what what kind of noise was so... that? <laughs> <laughs> That's the most degenerate sneeze I've heard. Uh, so this is interesting. <laughs> interesting. The cord team has uh, closed the door, so I. I presume he's just going to fire through the door and... No, 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 he's going to open it up. Yeah, the door has been closed all the time, as not to expose yeah. the person beforehand. But I mean, I, he I could just it. fire right through it, because he has his assistant there with the binoculars. Yeah, but the... And he's uh, not going to see what he shoots at anyway. The bullet velocity drops uh, when you shoot two objects, so it's not going to hit. Yeah. yeah. And where the op is right now, that's not the good kill zone, they need to come a bit closer. So the, uh... No, it's out of place. But did we get both guys when, uh, yeah, you, when you we got shot to them? There yeah, was a third. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but but we got both guys in the opening, or did I get the second guy when I just ran into the group and fired at him? Yeah, I'm gonna second. Go now. Bye, bye. Okay. Bye. Because I heard bye. his radio. That's how I knew how, where he was. He had the radio on the uh, on. Yeah, speakers. that was myself. I had to pick it up because we don't have radios on the squad. So I needed to pass the information, and it's a lot easier than me just repeating what's going on. Yeah. I mean, obviously, had I known that we had, like, random pilots in the area, then, yeah, would have turned it off, but... <laughs> yeah, I can figure that, but we were walking outside, and it was like, wait, is that German? No, that's yeah. Finnish. But we actually... Wait, what? Yeah, because we actually had, like, a sentry out to the north where we saw you guys on the ridge, but you obviously came from a different direction, so... Yeah, we were walking... Um... If you look on the map, you can see uh, Hill 78, where the guys are now. Yeah. yeah we we came you. up yeah, we down on the side of that. Yeah. And just walked over it uh, and uh, proceeded to go into the valley. And yeah. was like, yeah, we're gonna try and just exfil towards the south. And basically said, well, let's go up to Ka Karal, Kalal, Katal. Uh, and just look down into the valley to see if we can see any movement. Yeah, well, I mean, good on you for not rescuing him. Because we had, like, our plan was to, you know, stay hidden, since obviously we were, were afraid yeah. of the hinds. That if we, you know, if they know the court is here and the prisoner is nowhere near, that's going to blow the building. So we yeah. were literally, like, you know, lying on the floor, making sure we are not exposed and not watching the windows, obviously, which would have helped in this case. Uh, we came up from uh, from the one rock, like yeah. the big rock formation on the uh, on the eastern side, no, the western side. Yeah. And right when we got up to the rock, we heard uh, you talking and then the radio. Yeah. So if if we would have gone like 20 meters further away, we wouldn't have heard you and just walked past. Yeah. Well, good on you. I'm actually yeah, slightly disappointed that I didn't, didn't get to play, but uh, I'm not salty. I mean, that was fair too. Yeah. Anyway. I, I'm I, I'm a bit chump, but that made it a lot better. But <laughs> I can only understand the guys in the second helicopter if they instantly rage quit. Yeah. 
No, a couple, I, th- I, mean, I think the I last mean, person and Charlie won already. The second they died and realized that they were the last person alive, they just all that forward completely. Uh. You know, enemies have too much blowpipes. I mean, they're basically everywhere and they had sending two. five missiles literally in every rock where they saw you. So, no. All I know is that the blowpipe never was that successful IRL, if I remember correctly. Yeah, and... it no. got one credit shot, I think. Yeah. Something no, like no, that. no, 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 uh, they shot like uh, four or five missiles literally on our squad and basically killed yeah, but, everyone. Uh, yep. d- during the, uh, during the Falklands War, uh, where both sides operated it, I think uh, like th- they fired like a hundred missiles and afterwards they confirmed only one hit its target. Well, yep. Obviously, you know, in 4 we weren't planning to use the AAs for anti-infantry work, but since we got both the chirpers with like one missile each, I, I, I really don't. I, I mean, I understand how you got the first one that ho- basically was hovering, apparently. But I really don't understand how the second one hit if, as you said, you were moving. Because I fired like 20 shots with it, and it's almost impossible to guide a missile into it. Unless the target is going straight for you or straight away from you, the missile will, like, never hit. I mean, we only tried it at medium to short range. It might be that it was a long range. Might be at, at yeah. like extreme um, range. It, it, I know that the squad leader in one of the AA. One is Tunsman's one. He usually does record his game, so there's a chance we may get some video evidence later. Yeah, yeah anyway. because if they were on Hill 77, 78 there and firing out towards the ocean, I'm I'm impressed. I really am. It might be that the, you were traveling like straight away from them, from from their perspective or something. Because in that case, then yes, sure, they, you can hit. But if there is any significant sideways motion, it's really hard to hit with it. But it's, that's yeah, really it's, it's, uh, uh, it might be that a missile like has time to move exactly. properly or something. Yeah. yeah the farther true. away they are, the sh- slower the sideways motion is. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, hang on. But I think their range might be a bit unrealistic actually for the blowpipe. I don't think they could shoot that far. Yeah, I think I think uh yeah F- the, the FP armor contingent that was in the off today, where most of the Charlie won, and I think like a platoon lead person or two. Yeah, I think we all died within maybe 10, 15 minutes of the mission actually starting beyond the uh, safe start because of the shoot downs and the encirclement of the infantry got dropped off. So, yeah. We, but, we, we got uh, punished for doing well in the first mission. Yeah. But Charlie Platoon is still in the fight. Whale is leading them. Well, the yeah, yeah, I don't know if, if there are comms between the, the platoons. platoons. I don't know if there are comms no, between the platoons. No, I wonder if anyone's leading the company right now. Yeah. Because Alpha has uh, taken uh, the company. might be, but I'm not sure he, he knows that. Wait, what happened to the uh, to the team near uh, Taigav? They, they went back to Abab. Okay. We're actually in Amal Golam right now. I don't think they know what's going on. Where is the room? No, but they should have comms at least. The company that should be up. I can't find the room. So currently, the Alpha is assaulting towards. No, there, there's uh, no company cohesion. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. Yeah, and Alpha is going to be the company. That are outside of the area where the pilots could be. So I don't know. Oh, no, I think uh, it was a real tall order to design this mission with this kind of class when we have 10 different communities. Like, each squad is literally a different community um, with varying degrees of uh, oh. experience playing with each other. So I think having this limited class is, uh, was a bit too much, I think. We experienced that in the last mission as well, but that was a much simpler mission. So it was just literally, okay, so if in doubt, go to my market and capture it. So but that yeah, isn't out anyway. the entire enemy team just AFI? Yes. Yeah. 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 So they're coordinated, obviously. Yeah. Exactly. So but they're also I think, fewer. I think we it would have been chance, better. But... Yeah. Sure. I mean, if, if 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 our hinds hadn't died uh, that early, yeah. then might, it would have been different. But what I'm saying is that uh, the um, I, I'm not sure. I think it was a good idea to only provide one for the team. Uh, maybe it's not. A, it's I think bit, the radio it's a bit too hard. Us... It's a bit too hard for our for the amount of organization we're able to muster, basically. 
Also, I noticed in Charlie One Squad, the one radio we did have or whatever wasn't technically a long range radio. It was a longer range, short range radio. Yep. So we promptly lost contact of command very quickly. Like we figured out later, it was because they've been shot down. But even the rest of the command ele elements and that kind of stuff, we couldn't reach. I think uh, I think we should have unified command elements. Uh, really, we've been pushing for that uh, for for Unrope to have uh, a command element from the same. Yeah, and we did now, which is why we yeah, and it worked out great. Have, but have the platoons did not. Of... Yeah, exactly, exactly. I think they should too. Yeah, I mean the the only reason we managed to remain uh, retain some kind of command and control in the first mission was that we were actually the company oh. team was coordinated basically. Yeah. So I was I was constantly uh, keeping tabs on what the what Sluskin was doing, and as soon as he went down, I could take over command. So and, yeah, I'm yeah. looking at Charlie Ten right now, and I think a Whale is the only Charlie platoon leader left alive or in the game. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, Kuragai and Exit uh, PA just got killed instantly because of the, the helicopter shoot down in India too. Yeah, the entire command element except the Whale was some more Yeah. I, I guess Charlie One's only blessing was that we didn't get shot down initially. We just got encircled after we landed, and then our helicopter got shot down. Yeah. I'll say, yeah, I learned the lesson today about hiding in mud huts. 14.5 uh, doesn't care how many layers you got, it's just gonna go right through. Explosions on the Wait, hangar they throwing... it's called, Yeah. I, I think they're throwing hand grenades at each other now. Uh, yeah. Well, for the people who are other people who are sitting and they're not there anymore. Oh no. And now they're just throwing random grenades down into the vat. Now for three is at least shooting at the end. Yeah, but they're all bunched up there. They need to spread out more. They need to be. Yeah, there's a lot of bunching actually. In yeah. This mission. Which is natural because uh, if uh, there's no radio, then you bunch up. That, that's what happens yeah. basically. Yeah. It's, you need to practice that. So when, when you're moving and you don't have a radio, it's really easy to get bunched up because you lose touch with uh, the rest of the guys if you don't. What's up with the fucking lobbing fire? Oh no, it's uh, it's Alpha 2 throwing uh, smoke to mark their position again. Hey, maybe Bravo 2 and Bravo 3 have the right idea. If they're going to Warlock now, then maybe we can achieve some kind of miracle. Uh, there are... Nobody didn't need to. They know where. I mean, Charlie actually has platoon connection. They, they, they could make a difference if they just knew what to do. Well, Charlie Ten is still alive and Bravo Ten is still alive, which means someone actually has some kind uh, of idea what's going on. Well, it's Charlie Fifteen actually, so, so I'm not sure he has a radio. But Rund should be with them. No, I. Rune seems yeah, Rune is with him, but he doesn't have a radio either. Right there, Andrew. Yep. Oh, he, he's I, I, I'm assuming that somebody picked up my long-range radio when I died. Oh, you are, are you? Yeah, I, see, I guess that didn't happen. No. Yeah. That no. never happens. Yeah, when, when I was that yeah. last mission, I heard people running around screaming a lot, and then no one picked up my radio, and then everyone ran away. I can't find my corpse. Oh no, Alpha 3 is getting slaughtered. Yeah, I mean that AA1 team is doing real work in this mission. Yeah, the uh, Alpha 3 was all bunched up in the compound, that's why they got killed like that. That was no, the problem. No, we need you to wanna know out. what happened? Well, yeah, well that, and uh, fucking whoever said ping was in a problem, the guy that walked around the corner, I didn't see until he killed me. 
So I'm a little bit upset about that. Yeah, that can happen in close uh, quarters in armor. I mean, the server has been acting up, right? I mean, I, it was in desync in the uh, right at the in end the of the last mission. Yeah, the, might be and I don't like think that. the and I don't think the server would restart it, so I think it's remnant from that. Might that's possible. Yeah. Hey, Trent, you here? Like this could be, could have been, could be salvageable for Op4 if Op4 had a chance to actually reorg and establish command and control again over all the, yeah. the different squads and actually do something in coordina coordination with each other. Then it's still salvageable. Yeah, they, they have the strength. I mean, Op4 they has just like don't have the cohesion. Exactly. Op4 has like more than 10 guys, like 15 guys. No, way no, no. Away look, from look, Alpha 2 is firing blue and blue now. Yeah, that's. That's what yeah, I mean. we're uh, off force losing because of a communication breakdown. Yeah, we. Yeah, yeah I mean, communication it's just Oscar was. Oscar Mike on Alpha Three. I, did you when I was calling out the contact? Did you know where I was talking about? Because a bunch of nades got thrown, but they all like blew up on our position. They yeah, I don't know back. if people were throwing them over the wall and just they were bouncing back. No, but I'm no, pissed that I, I didn't I, kill anyone on in four because I. So out. they were for throwing grenades at you. Uh, okay. So trench real quick. Um, yeah. I I when I was like peeking in the corner, I died because a guy basically was lagging and no, he just I, popped I watched, in my view. I watched. And I, it, yeah. I was just like, oh, okay, thanks, game. I had three people lined up, and I didn't. I, I cannot believe I didn't hit a single one of them. Uh, you hit. You apparently hit them because they were they're bandaging. Well, yeah, they're... that could have been at any point during the. The gunfight's over now. They were more of them yeah. too. Uh, you killed there a few were, of them. I mean, there were four of them, and I had three of them in my sights when I peeked the corner. And, and none of them died, and it was... Uh, I mean, I was standing up and mag dumping. Um, yeah, but... They peeked I, like, me at the it, end of my burst. Even, even a couple of shots should have killed them. And, yeah. Well, I probably didn't land anything or just got legs. Yeah, well... Well, at least their AA guy is currently down. Not like a blowpipe would do much. Also, I was super worried about um, talking because I couldn't tell how close they were. Couldn't tell if they were just on the other side of the wall or while well, they ended up being at that building. Um, yeah. Because I could hear I them could... firing. I didn't want to I... say anything to my people near me. Otherwise, I, sh I really should have gotten uh, Aram and Oscar Mike to basically be like, okay, listen, like, Going to this corner, we're gonna to peek together, um, and just try and kill him. That I peek like a dun I, I, sh I could have even looked and then come back in instead. I opened fire. We had taken a second to make sure everyone knew what was going on before I shot. That may have saved us. Yeah, they were in Woolock. That's 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 what command thought of that the that the prisoners were in Woolock. It was either that or possibly in Abad, and Abad is, was so close that we could just assault it on foot quickly and secure it, and then then we know that they're not there, and they move on to Wallach. Was so Charlie, Charlie the would... one that was airlifted? Yeah, exactly. They were supposed to scout towards Wallach, and if they took contact, then you just were supposed to maintain contact, and then we would move in the rest of us uh, to Wallach and just collapse on Wallach, basically. That was the what plan. happened to the Hines? They got shot down. They got really? shot down like a Yeah, one, one of them was taken out while landing, I think, and the other one was oh. taken out by, I don't know, probably just an extremely lucky blowpipe shot. Or possibly God. that it got it. Correct. They shot it at a long enough range that they were actually able to hit with them. Because when we, when we tried out the blowpipes, uh, we uh, scored maybe like one hit out of 20 or something like that. But that was a, that was a fairly close range, and it's possible uh, that it, it's better at long range. range. Yeah, me, yeah, maybe like a kilometer or something. And it's possible no that it's it's better at long range because the missile, you can have like more time to aim the missile basically because mm. it's manually guided. So it might be actually easier at long range. Mm. How did how did the company command die? I got sniped by a blowpipe. They were, after the Heinz went oh. down, they used the blowpipes to snipe us with instead. Yeah, and I was aboard yeah. one of the Heinz. So yeah. Dang. Right. So they, so here, here's the, here's the one thing about the blowpipe that I don't like is the blowpipe, the IRL blowpipe.
has a gigantic drop, so you have to fire it vertically, yeah. like pretty, like a normal stinger. These, you can just fire them like HGMs. Yeah. Yeah, we kind of assumed they wouldn't have that kind of range. I yeah. never ever expected that they could use the blowpipes to as uh, basically long range HGMs against us. Uh, I, I was under the impression the whole time that they were HGMs and not AA. No, yeah, they're, they're AA. AA. No, they're, no, they're, no, they're, they're AA. They're, they're, AA. <laughs> Because yeah. well, I've seen like a video of some people using an arm, and I'm just like, oh, it's just it's a wire guy AT. I guess it, technically an arm is basically exactly that. It's a wire guy AT. 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 Yeah, it doesn't have an actual wire, but yeah, other than that, it's probably quite a bit of an arm, exact same thing, I guess. Man. But don't you have to steer it in with a joystick? Yeah. Yep. It, it, no, it's literally just you point the crosshair of it, the low pipe on target and you fire and it will go to the crosshair. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah it's in Orma, yeah, but I mean, IRL isn't in it RL, I think manual it's with the joystick. No, it's yeah, like I, a combination, no. I think. I think you like first, first you just aim the sight and then once you pick up the missile in your sight, then you use the joystick to steer no. something. The, the, IR, the IRL blow pipe literally just goes straight line yeah. from the target. Nope. Because it, it's unique among man pads in that it is manually guided to the target by a small joystick sending guidance corrections due to the missile over radio controlling. Oh, that's why oh, it's I'm trash. I'm sorry, I'm yeah. thinking of the ja Javelin LML, that's what I'm thinking of. Right. Javelin LML is you point out a target, you fire it, and then you keep the target in your yeah. sights and the missile will basically track. That's uh, yeah. significant, significant it can't be better than a missile. You know, the, the Javelin LML is worse than the blowpipe. Is it? Yeah, the not Javelin really is, worse than the is blowpipe. a blowpipe, but with uh, a redesigned secret. I don't think uh, there could be anything worse yeah, than the blowpipe. Basically. Yeah, oh, and the Javelin had the worst warhead. It, like, it will barely take down anything. Well, it took down two Heinz. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's the armor version. W guy there's probably what? more Heinz than the uh, Dimension Kill than all of the Afghan war. I think more Heinz uh, got shot down here times. now than ever got shot down by blowpipes. Yeah, that's yeah, yes. probably. No real. Well, hey, at least they weren't Stinger missiles. Oh, oh God. That would have ruined our day before it even began. Oh, man. Blowpipe missile systems are still being found in weapon caches as recently as May 2012 in Afghanistan. Oh, Gee, Oscar I was able why. to link up with um, uh, with Alpha 2, that's nice. He's managed yeah, to survive he... two squad wipes. He, he's survived fucking two squad wipes. Uh, I'm so... I should have been better on my corner. No, <laughs> Trench. It's a mixture of lag, the server desyncing, and well, just a whole bunch of shit. Maybe me missing my shots, but I should have I should have taken a moment because n none of them saw me, none of them were looking at me. I should have just ducked back into the corner and then relayed that information to you, so you could make sure that we we had better cohesion when we were going to take the engagement. Because instead, I basically dictated. I, I threw away our one advantage was that they didn't know we were there, and then failed to kill them immediately. But I got yeah. greedy, and I wanted to murder all of them. Eh, it's alright, Trench. It is what it is. It, it was a master clusterfuck of an op, so... And so now... Well, the communication breakdown is really what... The communication is what fucked us. Is Alpha 10 still alive? Yeah, he's company commander right now. Okay. So... Is he, does he know who he is? Uh, Alpha, <laughs> Alpha, Alpha <laughs> 10. Oh, yes, he knows. Yeah, yeah. Very, very... Okay, good. Um... But I suppose the problem is that, like... Wait, why has Alpha 2 just stood there for the entire time? I think they think they're being suppressed. Yeah. Yeah, they were throwing well, grenades they around were, them. They, I mean, they were they were being suppressed by Alpha, by the Alpha Three N Four team, and then nothing happened, and they just stood there. Or well, yeah. well, notoriously I mean, easy to suppress. That's what happened. Mm. But he doesn't even have his weapon up. 
I'm I'm so Did mad for three, that. What? Alpha three. Well, basically, the might, one survivor might... joined Alpha two. Yeah. Oh, okay. Why? Why is he running around without his I gun? I wonder if, uh, like, is is there a plan currently for up four? Yeah. I there don't is. know. Uh, I yes, I mean. Yes, there is. Right. The, the last, uh, the last. He's tiny third... digging defenses next to a fucking uh, wall. The last I heard, and Alpha's plan was Alpha three and uh, Alpha two and Alpha one were gonna go up, like along J eleven to uh, Zulu eight nine, and then j up to J six J seven. While Alpha three was gonna go up to J ten and J nine. Yeah. And then we got fucked, and it was just like, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we don't have any access to the radio comms at all, so we don't know how the plants changed, because it looks like Alpha 2 is being pulled back from that flank. Yeah. yeah. What I mean, Alpha Alpha and they don't know what back. we know. Yeah. What they, what they do... Moving oh. the, they're moving into the Sulu area now. Uh, at least that's what they're trying to do, and then they're going to push up towards Romeo. So hopefully with some luck, they'll... Uh... Yeah. Actually, yeah, no, they're going towards Rula. Yeah, that's good at least. Yeah, well, they they were like ninety nine percent sure that they were in Wulak when it. Yeah, that's literally a... every, every every single person on the <laughs> call net wants to go to Wulak. So. Yep. There is only one person at Wulak. Yeah. What? That's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did, did he has no did, need to put people in Wulak. What are we gonna do? Materialize another helicopter? Exactly. Well, Could they shoot down the helicopter? Th there's multiple. Yeah. I mean, there's multiple, multiple places they have to go through to even how, get how there. Long would it? No, I mean, to be I fair, don't know. if I was still yeah, playing, we... I would prefer in four to be more active and not just camp around the prisoners. Yeah, they're very active. Yeah. They're very the helicopters managed to drop one squad before they got shot down. And they used the fucking glow pipes as direct fire weapons. Yeah. Against us, that was so dumb. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that, actually. Um, I mean, of I course, mean, of course, of course, you'll do it if you can, but it's stupid that you can do it with an AA missile. I mean, it, we've I discussed this earlier, but in Arma Three, it's modeled it. as a no, as uh, essentially no, a wire guided, yeah, uh, HE round ATGM. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean that's no how it functions in Arma 3 because how it functions in real life is stupid. Yep. <laughs> I mean, no, does it have ammo um... because we couldn't count out like two missiles to each other, so I mean, what can you do? Yeah, sure. But still, I mean, we have no counter against that, against that at all. Yeah. Well, yeah, because... I mean, we knew the helicopters would be vulnerable when landing. Yeah. And obviously they got hit in the air. Oh man, this is so scuffed. It is a massively scuffed up. As soon as Alpha Batoon <laughs> said, no, let's just stick with the original pan, like, there was no chance of winning. We knew, like, let me just see if I was dead on where the hostage was. Where's Alpha oh, 2 going? Wallach. Yeah, yep, I'm also yep. curious where Alpha 2 is uh, going. I, I, said, out in... I said they were both in Wallach. Hmm. I said, because we saw them, Bravo 3 saw them from the hill, so we're all moving in Wallach. I'm like, come on. Like, if they were any further south, they'd have pulled the troops away from Wallach. The fact that there's still people there tells you all you need to know. It's, it's yeah. Not, you know, Where's they're up there. Didn't have, well, like, crown vehicles? What happened to those? We have trucks. Uh, we have trucks, trucks, yeah, trucks. Which the plan was to leave. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's, two is so what, I, what I was, via the what I was, LC. what I was busy organizing when I started to organize when I died <laughs> was that we were going to pull back everybody to the east, and then push up on Wallach, uh, pushing from, uh, is this? like, Tagao, and then pushing up to that's it, on Kilo Ten, pushing up from Tagao. So, yes, yes. Yeah. Well, pushing I was up from trying Tagao to, tell... to Wallach, but then I died. So. Yeah. Well, know. then you died, and then Alpha Platoon. Let's just stick to the plan. I'm like, no. Yeah. I go to Bravo Platoon. There I'm was like, a... my friend. If we keep pushing, we are just going to be pushing in through the enemy, killing people off. We'll never make it to the final objective. So, Bravo, we were talking about just ignoring Alpha Platoon or ignoring Chain of Command, going rogue and just heading east and cutting north to Wallach, because it was quite obvious that Wallach was going to be I mean, there's quite a few uh, in Fort to the east as well, all in the Romeo sectors. 
Yeah, yeah, but if, we went, BS. if we went along the MSR in the trucks and we were going quick enough, I think we'd be able to get past them. The only real For problem... The blowpipes. The blowpipes. Yeah, exactly. They apparently yeah. could function as ATGMs as well for that purpose. Yeah. They ripped yeah. us apart. We, we were told to push off the hill down towards Yankee. As soon as my squad set full off the hill, we lost half our force to a single blowpipe. Yep, yep we can... Yeah, well, they're AG frag rounds. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be honest. They'll blow the blowpipes kind of made it they impossible for us to against win. helicopters. Yeah. They were supposed to be used for anti aircraft use, and they're now using them as ATGMs. I mean, I would fucking we, use them as ATGMs because that's basically yeah. what they are in our Well, yeah. I think they well, could yeah, use it like that in RL2. Yeah, I mean, technically, there is nothing preventing you from doing it, yeah. I guess. Bravo free is now That's just HE. They're probably not very good against armor, but against yeah. skins, they uh, yeah. probably get devastated. So was it supposed to just like kill the shred the rotor or whatever of a helicopter? Because I imagine it, the Heinz got pretty decent armor against HC yeah. frag. Uh, yeah, but it'll yeah. kill the engine easy, uh, or not oh, yeah. like, like kill the tail rotor or whatever. It's it's not going to survive. Maybe kill the pilot. Pilots are pretty well, well armored, but like the engine isn't so. It's mm -hmm. really hard to actually armor a helicopter engine, so it's gonna go down if it's hit. Yeah, I'm rip. Press F to pay respects for Bravo 3. Uh, I guess it's light, in, light vehicles, it'll just kill them, or even just infantry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Bravo. Yeah, we. I was with. Yeah. I, the only reason I died is because of an armor glitch. I was on the second floor, I jumped down, missed a few steps, and then proceeded to glitch in the Broke wall and bones. went unconscious. Yeah. So because we don't have a medic, nobody could wake me back up, so I just sat there for 10 I, minutes, wasn't woken back up, so then just killed myself, so I could at least, you know, watch. I, I, I had that the first stop, I just fell into a wall and then died, like, after 10 <laughs> minutes. They're running, they're running, oh, poor Bravo oh, my... Platoon's dead, and what's left of Bravo Free is just dead, we have to GTFO, because the I mean, surrounding yeah, us. gotta do it sometimes. And the blowpipe uh... has just hit the building. Well, no, not a blowpipe. No, that's an RPG. That's an RPG firing at the building. It's always, it's manually guided. Yeah, well, so the IRL blowpipe has a, like, a little, like, pot motor that just trucks? ejects it from the tube. And Oof. then it, it oh, ignites no. the main rotor, but it drops a lot, so you have to fire it pretty much vertically most of the how, time. How much are the good shots? Uh, if Fred and Mello actually have... escape, that's gonna be so cursed. Enough. There goes. They try to oh, hit the other vehicle, so the other two can't escape. The other two Inshallah. will be left. Allah will guide hey, Big John's oh, rockets. Oh, oh, the other truck, okay. They're, they're no, going for the other have... truck, which got hit by an RPG, so they very well. Oh no, it's, it's still mobile. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, those guys have all RPGs in the vault. Basically, There's another uh, RPG ready to go. I, I mean, I mean, he just shot. Oh, the three 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 fucking four? release! Jesus Christ, I'm finally <laughs> dead! How does it feel to be on a black screen uh, for 10 minutes? Hello, oh, Bravo Platoon, welcome to the club. That's so fucking hell. Uh, so, so, I did so, not we'll, foresee. Uh, well, first of all, is anybody from Bravo here? Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Right. BTR, Yo, black, BTR, black, Bravo listen. Freeze here. It's okay, so. listen, I'm sorry for this. Uh, I don't want to apologize for company orders. We did the best we could. I literally no, no, followed no, no. the letters. It, it was and, Alpha uh, 10 in the end. It was Alpha. It was Alpha platoon. You fucked it. Uh, but you, but you are, I mean, uh, you know, in defense of Alpha 10, we basically got told in the middle of executing uh, Alpha 10's orders uh, or original orders from company. Oh, your company command now, and we had about uh, we only had a few minutes to really get figure out how to get in touch with the other squads. Yeah, I, I, I was, that, that's, that's we, reasonable, but, I was right but he, he was insisting we keep on the same plan, despite being told where the pilot almost certainly was. Yeah. And he was just throwing us at the enemy to die. There was no, there was no benefit Again, to it. We weren't playing the objective. We were just dying. In Alpha I, I don't want to like. I don't want to. I, I don't know how it is in the other squads or, or platoons. I'm just saying for my boys. I think we had a good thing going in terms of communication. Uh, orders were followed, as far as I know. Everybody was in their place. Uh, reluctantly or not, you know, uh, we got smacked a couple of times, but we still kept cohesion. So, from my from my point of view, what we did was good, and I enjoyed it. The actual mission progression itself felt a bit like, uh, you know, fucking sandpaper, basically. Here's the other thing is that Alpha 10, it was not Alpha 10 that was listening to the radio, it was Alpha 10's RTO listening yeah, to the sense. company. Yeah, no, I, I so know these things, Alpha so, yeah. 10, when they got on, did not, and issued those orders, did not have the same uh, understanding of the battlefield that had been talked about. 
Yeah, no, that's uh, fine. I mean, I, I, have I mean, no, honestly, I have no the big failing that. is that we should have taken like five, ten minutes to just completely restructure. Reorg. Yeah. Just well, completely yeah. reorg instead there, of trying to. There was to... a good twenty minutes. We were just waiting for new orders, and then we would hold them, and we would kind of like, I'm gonna be real, man. That's. that's... Yeah. Uh, as far as as far oh, as as, as far as bro, we, went, we had excellent for the whole fucking valley, basically. Three was just uh, spot on. The well, I, we was saw everything. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we. I, I told you. I, I told you they're in Wallach, and I told you the exact building. The actually <laughs> the building that I called. And that was all relayed, and then Kilo died, and then that kind of got lost because Kilo died, right? So that information didn't get passed on. So in the end, it was just a me grinding down the valley. So. Uh... Yeah. I mean, Bravo 2 can still clutch this. Uh, can they? Can they're they're literally this? behind the enemy, Bravo 2 behind yeah. the enemy yeah. lines. Wait, a yeah, small question. There's what? three of them. So what exactly is Alpha's Yeah, but they're It seems like they still up. have one squad just doing nothing, yeah, away from everything, there's a, fully alive. There's, there's not that many well, There's still in a long way to go. Like, they are... <laughs> they're, uh, by the way, they're huge, like... About our, you know, right place, I think after, you know, Half of your squad just get shredded by blowpipes. You should, you know, relocate it. Half yeah. of Bravo yeah. platoon got wiped out by a blowpipe. And but again, uh, I say, I, I, I say, what is our tasking? And they, and they say, you know, keep Overwatch. And uh, that's what we're doing. Hello, Fred. <laughs> and Welcome I just to supposed to by blowpipes through, you know, Pop my thick mic. rock. Someone's on my game. This, you know, damage model. And Do you, you want to go to a different room? What ironic enough? Oh no, Elephant oh, well. just died. It's the I'm last of our men. Oh, whoops. Oh, of course. Uh, and you know, you, you, you were the, you was the only survivor from you know the first mass casualty. So. I... Uh, uh, yeah. I don't think I don't think Commander anticipated the way the blowpipes are, uh, because we all thought it was a man pad, and yeah. it, it is a yep. fucking is a fucking wrath of God apparently because <laughs> it, <laughs> it is, it's it's a man pad that's manly guided that doesn't have the pot like a small motor to flaunt it of the tube. Cause normally it gets a little push, drops out like a stinger, and then fire the main rocket. But in Arma Three, it's just it fires the main rocket, doesn't, and just goes. Straight yeah. line. So it's basically three, it's a fucking ATG just and it's going to shoot down helicopters. Yeah. 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 It's an like AT yeah. frag ATGM. Yeah, in hindsight, we could be could have foreseen that uh, you could do that in armor. Basically, uh, we didn't because we just yeah. thought that thought of them as as A missiles. So, we, but if, we I had, if I had uh, like from the start yeah. considered the fact that they can be used to basically engage us at long range on the ground, I'm not sure what he could have done in that case. Maybe like bomb rush them through ca a canyon and hope we rushed the place where we thought the pilots might have been. Like if that makes sense. Because I mean, how, yeah. how, how are we going to advance over open plain against that? Uh, the only thing I, I can it, think it, of would be to just not use the hinds to transport anyone and just use them to just bait. observe. What happened They'll to bait, the hinds, by the way? Bait out the blowpipes. Well, they got what? Easter, they got like, wrecked in mirrors. Because like as long as the hinds are in the air, the blowpipes will be reserved for them. Yeah, uh, I, th I think there the only thing. There is video in could... that air you discard, uh, and you can see the blowpipe flying. I heard that they uh, have the only what, only two blowpipes. Uh, I think that's th true. This, yeah. this uh, you know, not two, but two dozens of blowpipes because uh, <laughs> no, we need at choose. least five of them. Yeah, only two twos. It's like fifty missiles each. Smaller, uh, yeah, yeah, small yeah. addendum. They only had two blowpipes, but had lots of uh, missiles for them. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, and with, uh, the, with the range. Uh, in hindsight, I think what maybe as far as Bravo is concerned, what we could have done is pulled out immediately uh, on that first hit and flanked all the way. But again, it took us maybe 50 to 20 minutes to sort of identify where we thought the uh, hostages are. And even though 50 minutes we took, you know, fucking two thirds casualties of our whole platoon. Just a blowpipe. We didn't really fire a shot. Not, not a shot was fired at us. It was just like a blowpipe. I am yeah. just curious about one thing. Um, why did at no point was it planned that we actually advanced, it, you know, like from all the small valleys around the rather than over the hill where we were exposed? Uh, that's what was, I mean, I, I don't know. I was I mean, honestly, just clear looking Yankee, at where so... we were at the start, you literally had a perfectly good valley left of it that actually would lead us right into the whole complexes we're taking fell from. 
instead of being up on a hill where you're basically going to be vulnerable from all positions. Uh, again, I think the blowpipe threat was um, not anticipated. Uh, this yeah, is I mean, literally this is literally com- this is literally company plan. I don't want to blame company for this, but this was their plan, and I think you know it was a sound plan. I thought you know okay, fine, we can sit here and provide f- sort of Overwatch and fire support because it worked for Afi in the previous mission, right? They sat uh, around rocks and provided fire support, but the uh, issue is I that mean, you can engage no. with the blowpipe from like a few kilometers. Yeah, we away. we underestimated the blowpipe big yeah. time. We, yeah, we, we did basically what happened. We anticipate did. the blow, blowpipe being used as uh, as a ground attack weapon, basically. That, that is true. I think that that is what wrecked the game in general. I actually yeah. expected. Also, as a long range. Uh, AA Twenty missile. minutes left. Is, yes. in, in, yeah. in, in far as this scenario goes, I think it's kind of the perfect weapon because it can do what we can. It, we can't fire over a click, but it can, and it can take our helicopters down. So it's kind of a perfect uh, all counter in a way. It, it, it can, yeah. you know, uh, take uh, the whole squad down by one. Uh, you know, yeah, it's, it's, it I'm, feels like it's like a fucking artillery round. Uh, I mean, you know, I, uh, we were yeah. all way too close. But you're on uh, the rocks. <laughs> If yeah, you see, you're, if you see where your bodies are. And dug in positions, and this fucking thing just impacts the rock, and everyone's dead. Okay, cool. It's it's an HE frag round. So. I mean, yeah, but I, it, I, there are different tiers of HE frag. The thick, thick rock, you know, it it Let pulls me behind physics. it. I, guess yeah, I, died so... because I completely misinterpreted what McCarthy wanted to tell me. He pointed up on that roof, and I think. Or I thought he said or wanted to tell, tell me someone is on top of that. But he wanted to tell me maybe someone is up here. I don't know. So I went Actually, way I, I, too aggressive and got sniped by Overwatch. Actually, I expected so, those blow pipe using because you know I read that uh, they were so bad against helicopters that uh, yeah. <laughs> Mujahideens just used them against BTRs. But you know, I thought eh, maybe, maybe no, no. They exactly use this like this, but they have like two dozens of them and. I and mean, they also used it to kill it's the helicopter. It's not dumb, and why not use it them that way? I think the first helicopter yeah. got shot down was apparently uh, on its landing approach and got a bit too high, so it was really slow moving. So, so that's why it got hit by a blowpipe, apparently. The second one, we don't know. It was apparently, according to the pilots, it was moving and moving quite quickly. So either they got super lucky. Yeah, exactly. So they've been training for two months on the blowpipe. Still, I mean, still, even if you've been training, like. Uh, I guess if the helicopter was moving uh, slowly uh, sideways, basically from the perspective of the of the of gunner, you could have hit hit them anyway. It was um, like it's... Okay, but the, whose idea was it to put the fucking command element on a helicopter? That was not the command element. That was one of that was the uh, kill fifteen because I need no. somebody to watch over what's happening with Charlie, so I'm not reliant on their single RTO uh, who might go down yeah, to have, have any idea what's going on up there. So that's why I put him on there. But also, don't worry, command died uh, to a blowpipe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. With Bravo. So you know, in the end, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah. guess maybe I, well, it was all of Charlie command team in the same chopper. No, Whale is okay. still alive. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Of course. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so that's good. At least, at least they did right. Of course, we're live. Charlie, small question. We got about our first got about like a platoon left between Charlie One, Charlie Two, and Alpha One. I mean, they had they had like when I died, we still had like two platoons worth of guys left, so it was salvageable. But I don't know. They have 15 minutes, and they like two clicks away from basically anyone. I I and they. I don't know what they're doing, they're just, you know, moving on their feet. Only... I mean, taking at least cohesion. Bravo 2 completely yeah. lost if, if any we communication have... with anyone. Because they're not yeah, like reach anyone right? anymore. If, if we had had a cohesion, uh, basically, at the point behind died, uh, the company could have reorged and pushed to Warlock. That's true. And yeah. might have, I mean, that, that would at least given us a chance. But unfortunately, since that didn't happen, and Lots of uh, resources were spent, basically in the West, against targets that were not even relevant. Then, yeah, no. So but, um, we still had like a blow- chance. We still had a chance, but it's uh, unfortunately it didn't happen that way. But let's be blow- honest. Us so- made a huge job of what they had, baiting us with the technicals and then shooting us with, with the blowpipes was a genius idea. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. They're using um, the their blow- assets uh, perfectly. <laughs> The blowpipes were underestimated, but us getting our head cut off was, I think, really what that did us in. And And failing to reorganize. If I got this right, the helicopters each went to a different LZ? No. Well, actually, I shouldn't say because I'm not sure, but uh, I doubt it. I think both went through right LZ. They were going for the same one. 
So one got shot down and the other did not see where the blowpipe come from. Yeah. So okay. Okay. because we just had one shot down, we exfilled the area because we don't want to stay behind and try and find it when we don't know where it is, because that's just gonna result in a second shot. I mean, in the end, it's just... I mean, the real conclusion here, just don't use Heinz for transport for crying out loud, just fucking walk. I mean, uh, I would yeah, say well, what, what the main the thing though? is... No, 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 I no, mean, I mean uh, Heinz Hein transportation is fine, fine, but uh, Heinz transportation is just literally on their heads, it's not... It's idea. also very it was also very small AL, so kind of... So. You, you're, you're limited there as well. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it seems like they're Oh, look, they're killing somebody, look at that shit. Bravo 3 fucking die. Go. And I just think Max Sally was the helicopter support. Actual fire support would have been far more valuable than time support. The of problem course, is that, but uh, let's it's... be honest, if you can't shut. Helicopters are really good if you have stuff like there's a compound or there's an enemy position, blow it up. Yeah, but which we could have actually done. We, well, which we was the hostages. problematic cost of the hostages. Yeah. So yeah, the in this scenario a lost person. their main use because you couldn't just say any pos enemy position, remove it. Yeah, um, E4 and here. They have extremely we horrible optics, and so you pretty much have to spot on the ground for them and then say. That's that true, but yeah. we were forced to spread out. If, if you shoot from the ground, you're going to have to do a nine liner, which no one can do because we're not uh, that kind of a community, any of us. No, I'm, sure, we can, I'm that... sure people can do it. Uh, it's really easy. We had like the whole map was marked in uh, all the markers. Yeah, you so have you so could, many you know, reference points. Yeah, you, you could have put any of them, say, you know, Yankee 4 or, uh, you know, Zulu 4 or Zulu 10, and that would have been just decimated. But because there were markers like every literally 5 meters to 10 meters, so. Yeah, so the plan was yeah. you, uh, you after try this... trying to get there into, oh, it's this compound I'm trying to Guy, fly at in Oh, low. my word. <laughs> Uh, Riku just killed three of their guys. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I see this and I wonder why? I'm... Who uh, killed what? what? I'm Riku what on in for just name? killed three guys just what on the pile. Oh, wait, what the fuck is oh, all I'm really confused. And, and now, <laughs> now Severe, Severe just executed killed... him. Yeah, Severe executed him. What? What hmm. the fuck? Well, at least they got casualties this way. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. Should have killed the hostages, man. Wait, who did he, who did, did, he did he forget which team he was? He the killed... Soviet indoctrination program definitely worked. He killed like, three, three of their guys. What, what did he do, Rico? Oh, look, twinking. Uh, you know, he was just slipper engine uh, all alone. <laughs> is oh, in this chat or is this only up for? It's in for and up for. Oh my god, look at Bravo 2 looking at the wrong way. Twinking, hello. I mean, oh, missed opportunity. I mean, he's just I got mean, no idea. Quick King yeah. has two guys left. He has communication with, and that's a squad lead, a squad. Yeah. Yeah. The, the comm net yeah. is fucked uh, in all the case. Ooh. I tried to squad as my squad. And now Charlie wiped, three is shooting at and... Yes. And... Finally, Charlie gets into the battle. And the oh, only thing he knew was the last thing BTR said, I and see that a was assault that in that position. Uh, Charlie Char Char literally untouched. They lost oh. nothing because Dragon they never RPG see round. bottle. Dragon that RPG round is it gonna I kill the hostages. They lost, no. they lost half the platoon to the helicopter. No, a, no it Charlie Tree literally exploded fire. Ah, what a shame. Apparently, I, I guess Charlie One was in the chopper that, that managed to touch down. Yeah, uh, Charlie no, 1 no, no, and half Char of Charlie Charlie 2. 1 uh, is shredded, Charlie yeah, yeah, 2 they, they, they did now, of course, shredded, but, but the, Charlie 3 is... I mean before, I mean before. This is a bit uh, frustrating, because Alpha and Charlie both have the remaining trucks we have, and they bailed and are walking. They have like five minutes left, and they're walking. They yeah, have yeah. If, you look at, oh. if you look at Alpha 10, they are literally standing next yeah. to us. Again, sure, uh, my, again, I, I, I'm going to sum it up as uh, fucking, uh, you know, sandpaper. This is exactly what it, this continues to be. Just overall, in general, watching this as well. I think that we, uh, that we actually just select aggression, honestly. They obviously have no idea the information that we have. Yeah, that's true. Uh, the whole, again, I Kilo, mean, the... Kilo died, and that's when the conversation stopped, basically. Yeah. Uh, which is, so, uh, it's realistic, I think. It's not fault of anybody in particular, this things happen, but uh, yeah. Anyway, they have. Oh five god, look minutes. at the blowpipe hero! Where's the blowpipe? Just, yeah. just fuck up. Oh, hey, chill. Just end it. I follow three green. 
Oh, can you see, uh... Can you see the kill, though? Oh, shit, look at that. This guy away. It's a blowpipe. No, that's just an RPG. I don't know why he's firing no. that far. No, uh, blowpipe. That's just gonna airburst. That Scott's on the blowpipe. Yeah, okay, down down there, but... It Honestly, wasn't fired. I think the one that just, got fired was an RPG. Just letting Opera have more <laughs> range radius per platoon could have, okay, like, well, avoided this issue. Basically, Not even the radios. No. Maybe, like, okay. a single ATGM, at least. Oh, you know, man portable, carried. That could have been a... Why do you need ATGM? Maybe, but I mean, like... like yep. The oh, real issue is, is really that lost the helicopters or whatever. That's not the real issue. The real issue is that the company completely lost cohesion once all kilo elements were down, and then yeah. it took way too long to reorg, and yep. well, uh, I think that was it, basically. Yeah. We have the assets to do this mission. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Uh, definitely, definitely. Even, after losing, even after losing, even after losing the Heinz and losing one squad, uh, squad from Charlie, basically, uh, one squad's worth of people, it was still doable. I mean, uh -huh. I mean, it kind of still is if, if they could just uh, yeah, act as a colony. Distance. Not on yeah, the time exactly. frame, I think. No, yeah, I, I, I agree. There's not enough time, but like no. numbers-wise, it's it's not impossible. No, it, it's not gonna happen. But yeah, oh. I mean, he's raining right the blowpipe. Yeah. Purely oh. by numbers, I mean they're pretty equal now, right? Yep. Yeah, we our cohesion broke, and there was no real information going along anymore. Yep. And yeah. uh, the Finns played, you know, just they realized you know, why we don't have to defend these areas out west. There's nothing there, so we just pull back and wait for them. And we, you know, because we had no and what you did we actually around for like an hour. With, with landing those areas first, where that they draw, they, they drew you uh, away from from the actual objectives. They, they yep. like you guys started assaulting up against them, uh, up up towards like the area where an area where the hostages could not be because it was outside the green circle, and you you lost a lot of guys doing that and. Then after a while, Infor just pulled out from the area, so it was a really good distraction out. as well from Infor. Now there's more red on red here. Uh, but what I... I'm, no and then yeah. what I said earlier is that I think in a, in a scenario like oh. this, when we have 10, I think, communities, uh, basically each each squad is a different community. Basically. Oh, ni nice, nice. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'm going to need Alpha more... Alpha uh, shooting Bravo 2. Uh, no. Again. Oh my god. Again. More yes. comms now, basically. More comms, basically, yeah. oh. to, to have an easier time coordinating, because we are not coordinated by default, since we don't play together, and, like, having oh, one, ri one ridge radio per... You were, yeah. Per, I mean, uh, but yeah. it's a bit too whole, in that case. Especially RTO, for this AO. This AO, yeah, yeah, the, the, the fish in one AO, well, I mean, yeah, it was very I small. Agree. I agree. Mission 1 it was fine because everybody knew that, okay, if I lose comms, I'll just go to Marmaki, basically. The, I mean, the, well, Bravo now, were up for, up for lost command pretty early, as well as Bravo lost, I think, 70% of our force immediately mm -hmm. yeah. because we were the ones that got rocketed, and the, the very first rocket that went out killed five people. So like, I was too, yeah. so like I lost half of my squad like that, and it was just a shit show, and then we tried to regroup, and then it just kept rocketing, and you rocketed it and killed command. So like, it just, it just dissolved from there, because yeah. that SPG just killed so many people. That was the blowpipe. It, they didn't it have was a blowpipe. Yeah. Oh, it was a blowpipe? Well, you, uh, yeah. you guys probably killed 20 people. Uh, the first volley yeah. took, uh, took out half of uh, Bravo uh, 2, uh, so, yeah, that was and, and then it also, it also took, I think, the entirety of Bravo 1 and uh, the other squad, which is the most important element, right? Because uh, he knows actually, what's going on. it wasn't uh, half of Bravo 2 because we lost, uh, like, what, 5-5 five, five men and there's only 3 left. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, oh. fair enough. So well, yeah, it's like, terrible tragedy. We lost. Uh, I mean, Bra Bravo, <laughs> Bravo tried our best to try and yeah. grind up, but it's so it was so hard because we just got flattened and then we couldn't make any impact. Like, like, this is like, so why, hard to push this open terrain like this. My original pitch. idea of having a cast collection point kind of went out of the window because I didn't expect like mass cast from three squad <laughs> for like two squads at the same time. Uh, What the mm -hmm. fuck's going on? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We, we we lost our squad lead as well. Um, so we, we were just like, well, shit. And I'm not gonna lie, I did kind of just blitzkrieg suicide charge just then because oh my god, I ran for an open field. I've got so bored. I mean, might as well. Yeah, this. I mean, that that's the thing that's <laughs> different about this mission is that, whereas in mission one we have a very clear objective: take our uh, Narmaki and do whatever it takes. It's very easy to tell what you can do to serve that objective. In this one, yeah. 
we have to locate them and then have Run to make sure that circle. everyone knows. And it seems like the look, well, people figured it out eventually, but that information didn't get circulated because of company command dying, uh, yeah. reorganization, all that stuff. So it, it's a lot harder I mean, to maintain your communications. Yeah, that's it also didn't happen, really help that we have for... clients sites only. I think it was like a bit poetic because uh, as soon as Bravo 3 told me where the exact compound was, uh, told me exactly where it is, uh, and I told Alex to relate it to him through, our, through, through RTO, and that was the time where the second volley of uh, fucking missiles hit, and that's yeah. when Kilo 10 died. Mm -hmm. So that was exactly the same time, so I couldn't even relate it. It was just dead. Yeah, well, exactly. It was so, just yeah, that's an always well, I think. I I've got, I've got was with uh, Charlie in uh, Tango 10, and we spotted people in where they had the hostages, and thought like, oh, these guys look like some kind of officers or leaders, because they are sitting on the roof with binoculars talking on the radio, but now. Nah. We're gonna circumvent and attack the West instead. I think the I, one I, thing I would like. I can't be bitter about oh. it, but it's unfortunate. Yeah, it is yeah. unfortunate, yes. Sorry, go ahead. There, there was two of us trying to speak at the same time. The other guy, go. Uh, I think the one thing I would change about this mission if I was to like, if I was to make it, uh, is given less blowpipes. Yes. Well, that's yes. the thing. I don't know how many blow types they have. Like, we definitely Dude, they, feel the effect of them. They, they would have, but I don't know they how they had at least 10. Because they also have been no spending the blue... RPGs willy-nilly. I have no problems with the blue, pipe, blue I mean, pipes uh, I... effectiveness against the air units, because, I mean, obviously it's it's like a skill shot to hit with them, so I'm no, fine, fine with them yeah, killing the exactly. choppers. Uh, they... I'm not the fan of them uh, uh, being used to kill ground troops, though. I mean, There's of course a... you yeah. still can, uh, so it's not like cheating or whatever. For the blue yeah, they, they have two launchers, but they have two launchers and a lot of missiles. Yeah, oh I, I would so say I that they had closer to ten missiles per blowpipe. Six. Um, and someone said something about magnified optics. Each squad actually, or each platoon has one marksman. I think in the number one squad. Oh, we made our marksman work really? like a bitch. Though. Yeah, um, yeah. Our marksman yeah. Metro the just place. got murdered. Yeah. In, uh... So can I just ask as well, like, what's the deal with nobody having binoculars? Uh, well, uh, uh, assistant anti-tank rifleman had binoculars and squad two. Is, is that just not like yeah. a general thing for people to carry? It's not like no, 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 not no. officer and officer. No, 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 no. does not get that, that, that makes no sense to me. That bit, I'm afraid. It, it will, in the Canadian forces, there. In the Canadian forces, you're lucky to have two people with binoculars, and that's for that's GG guys. GG. I can say.